Okay, so I'm at the supermarket and I'm gonna go to the meat section area and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna pick out the meat for the tacos that I'm gonna prepare. But I'm gonna use these. So the thing is, you can use whichever ones you want. Sorry, okay, so you can use whichever ones you want. I'm gonna get these. They're, well, if you go to any Mexican supermarket, they're usually right in front of the meat deli area thing so for tacos you usually always um at the end of it you add um salsa like spicy sauce to it so you could hand make that or you could also buy it and this is goya salsa verde mexican green salsa and hold on and you could usually find them where all the salsas are at so it's like pretty much pretty easy to look for so i'll be getting them for the meat i'm gonna be picking that one out for the tacos because you could pick you could pick whichever one but you want it to be already like cut into pieces because if you get these then you would just have to cut them yourself right? okay so not only oh my god fine. so not only is the salsa verde the only topping but you could also add you also add cilantro to it so i'm gonna get that and then you also add a it chata so i'm also get that okay so for the seasoning you could get goya adobo and it's pretty much like hold on let me show you guys you could find them with all the seasonings um so these are the ones i'm gonna be picking out of i don't know if i want it to be spicy, I mean, kind of, maybe not, lemon pepper, there's many options, but I think I'm gonna go with the um, orange. So another key ingredient to it would be um, limon. So I'll say limon is a key ingredient because it, I like, it adds like more flavor to it, and it's like a juice, so like, it adds a juicy kind of flavor to the taco okay so now i'm gonna give you guys an overview of what i bought the store <laughs> um i feel like the clips are sloppy but you don't really need that much um in total today i spent 12.68 so 12.68 was what i spent today and you get cilantro it's pretty easy to find in every supermarket like mexico supermarket uh cebolla and onion you chop it into pieces and then you put it as a topping as well with the cilantro with the cilantro you get mexican salsa you get lime limones um you get the seasoning for the tacos because when I'll, I'll show it like throughout when i make it um the tortillas for the taco it don't matter you can do whichever one but i really like these they add they they're really good um and then the meat so yeah that was all that i got at the supermarket and now we're gonna start we're gonna head back to my dorm and, cut and for anyone wondering this is a supermarket that i came to all right so my name is alejandro salazar and today i'm gonna be cooking tacos asada they're basically just like a tortilla with meat i guess the steak so yeah, and then you add toppings to it like cilantro, limon, um, and la cebolla. And then you add sauce to it and all that. So now we're going to start cooking and preparing everything for it. Okay, so you're going to start off by cutting a limon, like this, two pieces. And then you're going to get a bowl. And you're going to add the meat into the bowl. I'm not gonna add a lot because I'm not gonna eat. It's already like seasoned. Oh, it's seasoned. Okay, and then you're gonna squirt the limon in there to get the juice in there, obviously. And you just mix it around. And then you're gonna add the seasoning to it, like I had showed earlier. Um, it's Goya adobo. It's the bitter orange flavor. So you're gonna add that. You're not gonna add a lot to it. You don't wanna over season it. So, so we're just gonna add like, yeah, that's good. Okay, so now you, obviously you mix it all. Like, so it's seasoned well and like the juices is on all the meat. Okay, so now we're gonna add a little bit of oil 
That's pretty much it. You don't want to add a lot because, yeah. I don't know, my mom told me not to add a lot. She told me to add a little. So you add a little, and then you just wait. And then that's... When you think it's hot enough, just pour the meat. So when you pour the meat, obviously it's gonna start cooking, and you just wait till it's ready at your preference. So we're just gonna let this cook for a while, and then I'll come back and show you guys the process of putting the taco together. So my meat's ready, so now I'm gonna put it on that plate, and then I'm gonna show everything and how it goes. So while I let the meat cool down for a minute, I'm uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm up the tortilla. I think it works. I don't know. I'm gonna done this. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. You're gonna leave it there for a minute or two, and then you flip slide. Okay, so the tortillas have like let me, I don't know. Let me, let me compare them, I guess. Um, they look like this. This is. I mean, they look the same, but you know, they taste better warmed up and stuff. So now you're gonna. So now while you let like the tortilla and you cool down, I guess, you're gonna cut your cilantro, the toppings that you cut on top of it, I guess, they could be considered toppings. Right, so I cut the end off of the cilantro and then you just um, you just <laughs> cut it into little pieces. Depends on how much you're gonna eat with it. I'm not gonna eat a lot, so I'm gonna just get like, this small amount and I'm gonna include it into the tacos. Then you're gonna cut the other like topping, the onion. Um so yeah. Right, so I cut off both ends. I guess you weren't supposed to do that but I still did it. And then you cut it in half and then you put it this way. So then you have your onion and cilantro for the toppings. And then we put it all together. Hold on. Okay, so we got the tortillas here and then we got the asada here. We're just, we're just going to put it into the plate. I should have made more. Um, Okay, they're in the plate, and then you get your toppings, so it's like whichever, whichever you want to put first, it doesn't matter, I don't think it matters, so I'm putting the cebolla first, and then I'm going to put the cilantro, um, and then for more, so like it gives it more taste, you're gonna squeeze the other half of the limon because you know in the beginning we cut two, we cut two pieces and we use this one too for like, and now you're gonna use this one, squirt it in there, squirt it in there. And now we're gonna bring in the Mexican salsa verde and this is gonna add more flavor to it. Okay. And all right, so this is the final result. Um, kind of messy, but yeah. Um, okay, so that's that was the end of my video, but I had forgot forgotten to mention as to why it's important to my culture. Um, it's pretty important to my culture because it's a really famous street food. It's there's so many taco trucks everywhere in Mexico, even here sometimes in like the um Mexican areas or Hispanic areas. Um back in Detroit, I lived around Mexican town, they had multiple food like taco food trucks and so yeah that's it actually plays a really huge part to my culture because it's really famous it's like in every family gathering it's just a really popular food and yeah so thank you for watching my video <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys try it out so